The flat seam solder joint provides a higher strength option for sheet copper applications that will experience greater stress. It is typically used with 16 or 20 ounce copper. This video covers technique applicable to soldering flat seams at a maximum of 3 on 12 slope. Avoid soldering flat seams at higher slope. Use heavier soldering coppers or a larger fuel gas copper. For traditional coppers, a 6 pound minimum, 8 pound or greater or better. Most prefer a chisel tip. Soldering flat seams involves 3 quarter inch locks. The sheets must be tinned promptly before soldering. Use techniques presented in the tinning video clip to tin both pieces of copper with a band of solder, front and back, one and three quarter inches wide. Use a sheet metal break to form a three quarter inch open hem on the tinned edge of each piece of copper. Use an acid brush to apply a light layer of flux to the inside of each hem. Interlock the open hems of the two sample pieces. Use a mallet or hammer to close the two hems tightly together. It is essential that the seams be hammered tight. Apply flux to the outside of the seam and the opening of the seam. Place the flat surface of the soldering copper on top of the locked seam. Remember to keep the main body of the soldering copper over the seam. Solder moves to the heat source. We want to encourage it to flow through the joint, not out of it. Apply solder at the edge of the soldering copper near the seam opening until a small puddle of solder forms. Solder should flow over the edge of the seam and into the joint. Observe the back of the soldering copper to make sure the entire surface of the soldering copper contacts the metal. Look for a puddle of molten solder. Slowly drag the soldering copper along the seam, applying more solder when necessary. Watch the joint. It's common to see air escaping as solder flows in to take its place. It's also a good idea to look back along the solder joint. If there are any voids, reheat these areas and apply more solder. Allow the solder to solidify. Do not move or draw the joint as the solder solidifies. Inspect the seam. Check for obvious voids, then re-solder these areas. This must be done the same day as the initial soldering. It is very important that this be done right the first time. You cannot go back and re-solder the next day or in the future. When you are fully satisfied that the seam was soldered properly, wash away excess flux with clean water. Baking soda will help neutralize any residual flux.